This is video podcast 41 from learningradiology.com, GI Imaging, Differential Diagnoses, Part 2, with the help of Susan Summerton, MD. I'm William Herring from Albert Einstein Medical Center in Philadelphia. This podcast is designed to be used as either an audio-only podcast, a video-only podcast, or both. These differentials are not intended to be all-inclusive, They are designed as an aid to remembering a few of the most important causes for each of the findings shown. Consult a textbook for all inclusive differentials. First, the case is shown as an unknown. Identify the differential the case exemplifies. Use the pause control on your computer or MP3 player. Then the title of the differential is on the next slide. Again, use the pause control. The next slide will reveal the differential diagnosis, and the last slide reveals the diagnosis of the original case. Let's begin. The differential is diseases that cross the pylorus. There are five causes. The five causes of diseases that cross the pylorus are lymphoma, carcinoma, peptic ulcer disease, Crohn's disease, and eosinophilic gastroenteritis. This is your next differential. The differential is multiple duodenal filling defects. There are three causes. The causes are Brunner's gland hyperplasia, polyps, either adenomatous or hyperplastic, and lymphoma. This is your next differential diagnosis. The differential is thickened duodenal folds. There are five causes listed. The five causes of thickened duodenal folds are duodenitis, pancreatitis, Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, lymphoma, and varices. This is the next differential diagnosis. The differential is for pneumobilia. There are four causes listed. Four of the possible causes of pneumobilia are gallstone ileus, an incompetent sphincter of ODI, prior re-implantation of the common bile duct during a surgical procedure, and gas-forming cholangitis. This is the next differential. The differential is for duodenal obstruction in a child or adult. There are six causes listed. The six causes of duodenal obstruction include congenital duodenal atresia or stenosis, annular pancreas, or midgut valvulus in a child, and carcinoma of the duodenum, superior mesenteric artery syndrome, and intramural hematoma. This is the next differential diagnosis. The differential is for widening of the duodenal sweep. There are four causes listed. The causes of widening of the duodenal sweep include pancreatic disease, such as pancreatitis, pseudocyst, or a tumor of the pancreas, lymphadenopathy, an aortic aneurysm, or a cholidocal cyst. This is your next differential diagnosis. The differential is for dilated small bowel with no fold thickening. 
there are three causes listed. The differential diagnosis for dilated small bowel without significant fold thickening includes scleroderma, sprue, and a mechanical small bowel obstruction. This is your next differential diagnosis. Differential is for small bowel fold thickening with or without dilatation. There are five causes listed. Causes of small bowel fold thickening with or without dilatation include hemorrhage, radiation, amyloid infiltration of the bowel, hypoalbuminemia, and lymphoma. Your next differential diagnosis. The differential is for multiple small bowel masses. There are four causes listed. Amongst the causes of multiple small bowel masses are a polyposis syndrome, such as putz jaegers lymphoma, metastases to the small bowel, and Whipple's disease. This is your next differential diagnosis. The differential is for separation of small bowel loops. There are five causes listed. Five of the causes of separation of small bowel loops include Crohn's disease, a carcinoid tumor, ascites, hypoalbuminemia, and peritoneal metastases. This is your next differential diagnosis. The differential is for multiple colonic filling defects. There are four causes listed. Four of the causes of multiple colonic filling defects include multiple polyps, such as in a polyposis syndrome, pseudopolyps in ulcerative colitis, lymphoma, or pneumatosis cystoides. This is your next differential diagnosis. The differential is for a smooth colonic stricture. There are four causes listed. The causes of a smooth colonic stricture can include ulcerative colitis, especially with the carcinoma of the colon, Crohn's disease, ischemic bowel disease, and radiation colitis. This is your next differential diagnosis. The differential is for ileocecal disease. There are four causes listed. Amongst the causes of ileocecal disease are Crohn's disease, lymphoma, tuberculosis, and cancer, either colonic carcinoma or a carcinoid. This is the next differential diagnosis. Here is a clue. The differential is for a coned cecum. There are three causes listed. The three causes of a coned cecum are amoebiasis, Crohn's disease, and tuberculosis. This is the next differential diagnosis. The differential is for a cecal filling defect. There are five causes listed. The causes of a cecal filling defect can include a cecal carcinoma, 
appendicitis with or without a mucosal, Crohn's disease, an ileocolic intersusception, and lymphoma. This is your next differential diagnosis. The differential is for double tracking of the colon. There are three causes listed. Three causes of double tracking in the colon are Crohn's disease, diverticulitis, and adenocarcinoma. This is the next differential diagnosis. The differential is for thumbprinting in the colon. There are four causes listed. The causes for thumbprinting in the colon include ulcerative colitis, ischemic disease, hemorrhage, and lymphoma. This is the next differential diagnosis. The differential is for a smooth or so-called lead pipe colon. There are four causes listed. Four causes of a smooth or lead pipe colon include ulcerative colitis, a cathartic colon, post ischemic disease, and post-radiation colitis. This is the next differential. The differential is for a widened presacral space. There are five causes listed. The five causes include ulcerative colitis, pelvic lipomatosis, a rectal tumor, Crohn's disease, and a sacral tumor. This is the last differential diagnosis. The differential diagnosis is for rectal narrowing. There are four causes listed. The causes of rectal narrowing include ulcerative colitis, pelvic lipomatosis, lymphogranuloma venereum, and radiation colitis. Other differential diagnosis podcasts include video podcast 4 and 5, differential diagnosis of the chest, video podcast 7, differential diagnosis of cardiac imaging, and video podcast 9 and 10, MSK differential diagnosis.